as you just saw, the tracked version of the straddle carrier actually works. And the issue I had with the wheeled version, with the legs going out or in, isn't really a problem with this because it's slippery, so it doesn't really have the wheels or the tracks pulling from each other. And even further than that, when it drives forward and backwards, even if the legs are pulled apart, they will naturally pull back in. And when I get when this uh, spreader gets down, it naturally pulls the legs together. So this kind of design simply works. And I will finish up the design with a, uh, a little steering house and details so that it looks like a real strand carrier, not like this robot right here. So that will come in another video. The track version is only plan B. Ideally, I want a strand carrier to be realistic in LEGO, which means eight wheels, all of it steering. You can see this mechanism here in the middle. It's here to give it Ackerman steering geometry. So when I turn left, it doesn't turn that much. And when it turns right, it turns more because then these are the inner wheels turning. They need to turn more than the outer ones. That is why this mechanism is here in the middle. And you can also see it here in the background, how it works. The gray mechanism here in the front is my attempt at making it not stray with the wheel. So when it goes back and forward, it has a tendency to go either inwards or outwards like this. I do not want that. It doesn't look good and it makes it difficult to pick up the containers. What I have done is I've added this gray mechanism. It is connected to the top and it is not connected to the legs, which means that when the legs stray to the sides, then the idea is that the mechanism here helps error correct. So when we go forward, the legs go out, it turns inwards. However, testing this in practice doesn't really work. I think there's too much of a slag and there's too much tension and friction in this mechanism. So I'll try with a simpler steering mechanism and see if I can make this work. If not, then I'm honestly out of ideas of how to make this red straddle carrier work. And that's not good. If you like this kind of content, then please give it a thumbs up. If you think it's silly and useless, give it a thumbs down. In any case, I'll leave you with the rest of this video where you're just going to see the yellow tracked version playing around with containers.
And I almost forgot to mention it. I have containers with our designs on them. So where many containers have designs such as this Luna Industries one, here I have two old ones that you've seen before and five new ones where I still have to add something to the walls. And if you have some good ideas of what to decorate them with, then please tell me in the comments below, send me an email or whatever you want to do and let's see if we can make some cool designs for these. Now remember, there's only 10 pixels in height and we can of course be a bit creative with how we are drawing the designs on the containers. As you can see, the Lunar Industries is pretty straightforward, but the OCP one here is a bit more thinking outside of the box. And that's it for the video. So take care, have fun, and I'll see you next time.